What's up guys, this is Elo Speaks back again with another video. So recently in the NBA uh, world right now, the uh, recent event had happened with the Wizards and 76ers game. West, Russell Westbrook was having a really bad game and he had accidentally tweaked his ankle and had to leave. And while he was walking out, somebody poured popcorn on him while they, he was being escorted out to the locker room. And it caused a little fracas where uh, security and the guards had to reprimand him to make sure he doesn't go up into the stands and fight the fan. But when I was watching that uh, on House of Highlights, because I wasn't particularly watching the game, I was watching another game. I think I was watching the Knicks versus the Atlanta uh, Hawks, and I'll get to that with the Trey Young situation later. But when it came to the to Wizards versus Sixers game, I was just so disgusted by that when I saw a fan point popcorn on Russell Westbrook and just straight up disrespectful. Now, over my years of watching sports and particularly basketball, I've seen fans like like really do some disrespectful stuff towards the athletes by, you know, saying a lot of belligerent stuff to them, talking about, you know, their kids, talking about, you know, other derogatory things, bringing up race, calling them the N-word, and so far, et cetera. But, like, just, like, when you come, when, you, when it comes to, like, throwing food or drinks or any type of stuff like that at an athlete, like, they're animals that right there, I feel like, in my personal opinion, that's, that's that's on the ground of like charges. Like you, you're potentially if you do like food or type of a beverage at them, I feel like that should be uh, seen as an assault, and that person should be reprimanded and arrested for that. Because there's no reason for you to be hurling projectiles such as food or drinks at an athlete. They came to do a job. You're as a fan came to spectate. If you want to boo or tear or cheer or talk shit or whatever, that's fine. But when you start throwing stuff at the athletes, I think you're going too far, and you need to be reprimanded for that. They said that they're ban they banned the fan the fan indefinitely, but I feel like that's not enough because in this day and age, like going to the games is great, but watching the game. On T on TV is like it's no difference to me. Honestly, it's the same thing. So he's not missing out on anything like that. I don't know why. What made him want to pour popcorn on Russell Westbrook? Like I know that Russell Westbrook get a lot of hate in the media and he gets scrutinized. And I'm one of those people who scrutinize him. But it's only a critique. It's nothing personal as regards to Russell Westbrook. I think he's a great player. I just don't think he's a championship winning point guard. I don't think he has a high IQ in terms of how to see the game overall. I think he's a stat patter. He just, you know, you know, a ball hogger. And, you know, that's just my personal opinions on him. Still a great player, future Hall of Famer. But those are my critiques of him in terms of that. But that, there's no reason for him to be having popcorn poured on him in that disrespectful manner. And I don't blame him for getting outraged and try to fight the fan because if that was me, I would try to fight to defend myself and as regards to that that's I just that's just so disrespectful and so disgusting for a person to even like attempt to do that. So I don't know what got into that fan's head to make want to do that, but he better be banned indefinitely, like forever, never ever to return to that arena again because it says a bad president if you suspend it for like a year or five years and then he comes back like no he needs to be banned forever we can't have stuff like that or fans thinking that they could touch the athlete put hands on the athlete or throw stuff at the athlete and thinking that's okay because that's gonna invoke other people to want to do that as well and we're not trying to have that at the end of the day we're here this is entertainment and they're here to do a job, play basketball, and we're here to just watch, enjoy, and you know, just enjoy our time there watching the game. There's no reason to be touching the athlete. There's no reason to hit them, yell at them, curse them, or anything like that. Just cheer or boo for your home team or the away team, whatever, and just have a good time. But when you start like messing with the athletes, that's when you start going too far because yo, know, they're human by the end of the day. Yeah, they're like, you know, got gifted in their talents to perform basketball or whatever sport at a high level. But once you start doing that, you gone way too far and you need to be reprimanded and you know, charged for that. Now, as regards to the situation, I want to move over because that, that exactly that same day while the Knicks were playing 
the Atlanta Hawks. Uh, somebody spit on Trey Young during that game on the court side. Somebody like literally hurled his mouth and spit on Trey Young. It was a little spit, not so noticeable, but still, that's another disrespectful thing that the NBA needs to take action. You can't have somebody spit on an athlete that's so disrespectful. I don't get what's what the hell's wrong with these fans like think like what makes you want to do that like i don't know if they're intoxicated or drunk or they're on drugs at the game but there's no reason for you to, to purposely disrespect not even just an athlete a person in general if you spit in another man's face or a person's face like whatever that person chooses to do or in a situation I, you, you can't send it at that moment because it's like yo like that's fighting you're like you're like that's bro if somebody spit in my face, we're fighting straight up. Like, you know, it ain't no talking, it ain't no my bad, no nothing. So for that fan to do that, he needs to be banned. And just to spit on somebody, that, that's a, in that technically assault, like you could get charges for that. Like, come on, man. Like the NBA needs to do something about it. Adam Silver needs to do something about it. The, the NBA needs to do something about this because this is ridiculous. You can't have these fans thinking they can just say, do whatever they want to these athletes like they're animals or like apes or something like that. They need, they need to be reprimanded. Like, I know that, you know, they're here to have a good time, cheer, boo, and stuff like that. But still, you can't have another man spit on them because if these athletes take it into their own hands and try to fight, you're going to have a malice in the palace part two. And I know the NBA doesn't want to have that happen to them. So they better deal with this situation quick before it escalates because if they try to wrong athlete, they're going to handle it into their home hands and it's not going to be pretty. I remember that Madison the Palace with Ron Artest and them. They were just showing replays of that on ESPN Sports Center to like bring it back up. So I think it's kind of you know funny how you know that situation happened. And even Ron Artest says something about it. So hey, the NBA better deal with this situation now because if he doesn't, then it's gonna get pretty bad. So I think it's just like funny because just last year. The NBA was on full lockdown and no fans were able to, like, be in an arena. It was just an empty basketball court with just the players and the staff there and probably, like, a couple of their family members. But now fans are starting to come back. It's starting to get semi-normal. Everything is starting to get better, cheering, booing, you know, just loving the fans there. But now it's like you would think the fans would be grateful to be there but now it's like they're just like it's like they're more rambunctious than ever now especially philly fans so um i've seen like a lot like a lot of derogatory stuff seen with philly fans no offense to philadelphia fans but you guys go way too far and y'all might it when it comes to like certain sports events because i've seen some of the stuff that they were doing when the philadelphia eagles had won the super bowl so i, I they have some other stuff but again when it comes to that, that's disrespectful. Uh, we just got back from the lockdown where fans are able to come into the crowd. It's great. That's a great thing to for the NBA to have fans back in the arenas. And for the fans to like start doing that is unacceptable. And the NBA and Adam Silver need to do something about this quick. Because if not, then they're looking at a potential of Madison and Palace Part 2. And I know that they don't want that. So those are my thoughts and opinions on the matter. Let me know yours down in the comments section down below. This is Ezo Speaks out.